Good morning, Piscianos. Good morning. I hope you guys had a good night's sleep. I hope you woke up today feeling happy, safe, and peaceful. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, and gave donations. All right, Piscianos, happy Friday. Let's see what we have going on for today. Let's pull three of these. This is Golden Insights Oracle. It is by Maruka X. We also got that Four of Cups there at the bottom. Of the deck, sorry, it's talking. Spirit. Angels. Oh. Ancestors and higher beings. Please help me with this message today for my beautiful pipe seeds people, my Piscianos. What messages do we have for Pisces? We got shield, fangs, and stage. So this picture, Pisces, there's someone here that was hiding. They were hiding, Pisces, and I feel like they were found. They couldn't hide for long. I do have the Five of Swords here in reverse. This is a form of pettiness. Also, again, let me, I don't want to see too many cards. Um, as you can see, there's someone here that was not being, was being kind of wicked, honestly. That's the feeling. And someone peeped it. See that? Someone peeped it. Again, there's two cards here where there's someone that's hiding, but they're found, and someone was treating someone else very wicked, and someone peeped it. So I do feel like, Pisces, there's a person in your life that really believed that they can hide from their wickedness. They can hide from, um, you know, it's almost like the feeling of, this person was a certain way in front of you, but in front of other people, they acted very different, but someone saw it or someone will see it. Cause a lot of times this is for what you don't see coming. And that's what I feel like is about to happen with this person. Some like, okay, for example, you may have told someone, oh, that person's an a-hole. This is what they did. And then they're like, oh, well, they're really kind around me. Or they, they've done nothing but nice things. And then one day they peep exactly what you were saying about this person, Pisces. <clears throat> they get exposed. We got shield, fangs, and stage. It says guarded, defensive, resistance, and feeling vulnerable. I feel like this person... Hold on one second. Let me start here because I'm kind of feeling this more in the spotlight, attracting a lot of attention, desire to get noticed and becoming famous. I feel like this person in their, you know, people that live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, right? Like if you've done something wrong in your life, if you're not the bestest of people, the nicest of people, maybe you shouldn't put yourself out there too much because have you ever heard seeing those people that become famous and the next thing you know, like people from their past say, yeah, that, that person was terrible. They were a horrible human. No, they were a bully. They were something along those lines. That's what I'm kind of feel like is coming. I feel like in this person's search for some type of fame, some type of rise, some type of energy, it doesn't have to just be fame, a desire to get noticed. It's like somebody that may overdo something, you know, like, look, I'm a great person. I'm a kind person. In that process, they're going to be exposing themselves. All they're doing is building a platform for themselves. So that way they more people can see that they are not who they say they are. 
they are the person that you have always said they were. And at times, Pisces, when you see somebody that, you know, is showing one side of them, it may feel frustrating at times because it's like, no, I know this person. This person is not that. They're something now. Why are they pretending to be something that they're not? You know, and that's what I'm feeling here. It's like, give it time, Pisces, because sometimes they're giving themselves, they're building the platform just so that they can expose themselves on an even grander scale. And that's what I'm getting there. Now, with this fangs, I got energy sucking, emotionally draining, shadow self, negative people and environment. I think you guys are trying really hard to stay away from this person's um, um, energy. You know, like you're not going to be the one to expose them. You're not the one that you've told people, you've warned people, you may have said things about this person, but you want no parts of it. You know, you're very guarded. You're very defensive. You shield yourself from it. You know, at times people may have saw that defense as, you know, what's wrong with you? Why are you so defensive? You know, and that's how I'm getting it. And it's just like, because I don't want none of that. I don't want to waste my energy. I don't want to, you know, give this person what they're looking for. You know, um, I'm not trying to put myself in that type of environment or around those kind of people. You know, that's just not my people. I don't get along with people like that. That's what I'm feeling. And I understand how sometimes people may see that as, you know, what's, why are you so defensive? This, you know, and it's like, because I know this person. I've seen the way this person operates and I want no parts. And that's what I'm getting there, Pisces. Let's see if I get something else. Yeah, people don't like the resistance at times because they have yet to see what you've seen within that person or they're blinded, or maybe they have seen it, but they think that maybe it'll be different or things can change. I don't really know. You know what it comes off as? Let's, and it doesn't have to be. Let's just say that, you know, you were in a relationship with someone and that person was a cheater. And, you know, for whatever reason, the new girlfriend, new boyfriend comes along and says, hey, you know, something, you know, and believes everything that your ex told them. And you're like, you don't know this person the way I know this person. You'll find out though. Um, and you may have said a few things to help them, to warn them, to heads up them because you know, and they may not have believed you. They may have looked and turned around at you and be like, what? Why are you so angry or so hateful? And it's like, okay, you're just slow. So you got to find out for yourself. That's an example. All right, spirit, tell me more. We got the Knight of Cups, the Five of Cups. Hierophant in reverse. This could very well be about a separation, Pisces. Hierophant in reverse. This is in your past position. It's like a, a breakup. It could be a, a divorce. It could be a relationship of some sorts. It doesn't matter. It's just a breakup of a union. Um, so this could very well be somebody that you have known and you knew about them and you knew a lot about them through some type of breakup, you know, something about their behavior in that breakup was very telling, you know, like something was very telling about them. I do have the Knight of Cups here. Like, I don't feel you being hateful, vengeful. I actually feel you. Knight of Cups is a person who's trying to help spread some love, uh, soothe the minds of others and, you know, not make others maybe fall into the same trap that they have fallen into. It's very loving. It's coming from a, a, a sincere place. Sometimes, Pisces, it's your delivery, though. I'm going to keep it real with you. You know, sometimes you may be a little too blunt. You know, sometimes you may um, say it with a twist, an attitude, you know, um, but it's facts. And it comes from love. And people just sometimes will just hear the way you said it. It's not what you said. It's the way you said it. And that's what's coming off here. <clears throat> You know a lot. Five of Cups. This is like a lot of things. <laughs> Past hurts, failures, things that didn't work out, Pisces. You know a lot. And I do truly believe, and I'm not saying that this is the only example, but it's just an energy, Pisces. Like, you know, that you your intentions were not to hurt. Your intentions were truly to save someone some form of aggravation or some type of pain. You know, maybe it's a friend, right? And you were trying to tell your friend about a person that you knew, you know, like, oh, don't date that guy. Don't date that girl. You know, like I heard 
and this person didn't listen to you and they winded up getting sucked in by the vampire and you know you tried to help them then they get mad at you they get defensive towards you and they say why did you say that why do you say those things pisces and you're just like well you're, you're just gonna have to find out for yourself then you know and that's what i'm getting here <clears throat> we do have the seven of cups here a lot of times in the reversal this is for your future uh, for the future this is like like a bubble being burst right um i i strongly feel pisces that if you if this was a scenario where you have been through something already and you were trying to help someone from being in that situation or you may have just seen what was happening because you are Pisces, you know, so sometimes you don't have to walk a situation to know what's happening in it. You could see kind of further ahead what's going to happen. And maybe you try to come from a loving place. And even though it didn't come off that let perfect Pisces, you know, it, it and maybe that person just didn't want to believe it. And that's the other thing. Maybe they were so committed to a certain narrative to their bubble, you know, and that's fine, you know, but I do see it's going to get burst. But let's see. Let's go a little bit deeper. <clears throat> Ooh, Knight of Wands. The world. Four of Wands. And Judgment. All right, where do I begin? I'm going to start here with this Knight of Wands. So sometimes I feel like a nut, sometimes I don't. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. You can't help but get your emotions involved. You can't help it. And sometimes the way people pick that up is like, what, what's, why do you feel that way? Why are you so strong about that? Why are you so angry about that? You know? And it's because you're an emotional human, you know, you're a Pisces, you know, you can, you can, you know, exude emotion like no one else can. So you kind of let something slip is a feeling. This is an inconsistent energy. This is someone who may look like they care one minute and then the next minute they're just like, I don't care. And so somebody's going to read that off like, well, I thought you could. No, I don't. I don't anymore. I changed my mind. I don't care anymore. So it, it's like, what, what am I getting here? One minute, you know, Pisces is passionate and telling me about all this stuff. And then the next minute, you know, it's like they don't care. Maybe they're wrong. Maybe they're the problem. You know, this is how people are. I don't know why, Pisces. I don't. It doesn't really matter. You know, that what they should have listened to is what you said, because you had experience. Five of Cups and then the World Car. World Car is closing out a chapter. It's like, I feel like you knew something. You may have closed out a chapter with this person. You may have seen characteristics about this chapter that made you finally decide on what you were dealing with and who you were dealing with. And I just feel like, you know, you had some type of wisdom. Maybe, maybe sometimes Pisces you care and sometimes you don't and that kind of affects it because it's like, how many times can you tell a person a thing or how many times can you care actually care sometimes you shut your feelings off you just are pisces you just like that sometimes it's a form of protecting yourself it's a form of not let, allowing yourself to be in a vulnerable situation when a person doesn't listen to you or when they don't um heave what you're saying heave, heave what you're saying you know so it could be a protective measure as well let's see with this four of wands in the past i strongly feel that energy of you know been there done that um it didn't work out because of this like you've seen a behavior okay let's give an, another example like you've seen someone you know a narcissist so you know one when you see one right and you tell your best friend oh, oh that sounds like narcissist girl you're not gonna win in that situation does, there's nothing you can do there and then that person winds up getting mad at you like why are you so like defensive why are you in my bit like, okay never mind i don't care but that's what I'm kind of feeling. It doesn't have to be that situation exactly, Pisces. This person's gonna find out. 
They're going to find out. And I'm going to tell you, I feel like whoever this person is, is going to drop your person once they get something, some form of uh, fame, some form of recognition, some form of money, some maybe even another person. And then I could see how their bubble breaks. We got the judgment here in reverse. A lot of times judgment in reverse is there is no second chance. There is no changing this situation. There is no hallelujah moment that you are waiting for. And then not that you like saying this Pisces, but I told you so. That's what I'm feeling. I told you so. I tried to help. Sorry if it was my tone or my delivery or you know, my, you know, being inconsistent with you at times, like, but, you know, I, I did what I could and I got other things that I have to worry about myself. But I tried to tell you. Sorry to burst your bubble. All right. Let's see what is the outcome. Seven of Swords. Page of Pentacles. So this is what I'm going to tell you is going to happen. You can't save everybody. You can't help people. You just can't all the time, Pisces. This person is going to feel, again, like maybe you didn't have all their best interests at heart. You know, they're going to feel, it's just the way it is, Pisces. I, I, I feel you. And I know that's not, you're just not going to dedicate your whole life or your whole time into a situation that you already said your peace with. You already said a few words for. You got other things going on. But this person's going to be left in a place of kind of like they're gone they're not going to be very trustworthy like they're not going to trust a lot of people around them let them go through their thing Pisces if this is someone that's close to you and that you want back or you want in your life let them go through their thing there's nothing you can do remember Pisces you people that are meant to be in your life will be in your life sometimes people come back sometimes they don't you know but in this energy it's kind of like they got to go through their own thing they got to resolve their own issues and realize that just because you're not a perfect human just because you don't say things perfectly just because you're you may be inconsistent in their lives didn't mean that you didn't care knight of cups you cared you just can't give yourself a hundred percent to this project or this situation whatever it was page of pentacles and the reversal is something like um it could be a contract as well that got broken, some type of, um, this person's gonna go through it. Because let's just say, let's give the example, this is someone they were married to or they got together with. It, it's There's gonna be a lot that they see. I did feel that energy, um, like, like something about like a divorce or a breakup, and it's like, wow, you really do see who that person is at that moment. And this whole time, you may not have wanted to say it. You didn't, You no, you did say it, but you know, you told them. And they'll see it for themselves. And this may even be someone that had information on your situation, but didn't want to give it to you. And that's okay. I can feel you. I did the best I can. I came from a place of love. All I'm doing here is, you know, staying grounded, protecting myself because I know better. So they'll figure they'll figure this out on their own they got to figure out who they can trust who they cannot trust they got a lot to work on um, in their own lives it could be something to do with paperwork as well um, so they're gonna it's gonna be a moment there is actual papers there isn't there yeah they, they need time all right what is the advice ten of Pentacles reverse Page of Swords. This will be a big learning experience. Not just for this person, but also for yourself. 
I think you're going to see like faults, like cracks in the structure. A lot of times this is a structure, 10 of pentacles. It was like, and this could be financial like holes and, you know, um, like where you needed to protect yourself more, the ways you needed to protect yourself more. Like, I just feel like this is a big learning lesson. Page of Swords a lot of times is um, learning, like picking and choosing your battles um, by paying attention to what's going on. So I do feel that you're kind of in this place of you and this person or whatever's going on where it's like you, you're gonna have to learn like from other people's mistakes. Like there's something here that you'll be learning from and you're gonna be wise. Like you're that person, I, I mentioned this before to you, like you see where other people have done well in their lives and you learn from it, you'll pick it up. You also see where others have had cracks or faults and you're like, you know what, let me do it differently so that way I don't succumb to those negative situations, those bad um, paperwork situations. Like you're gonna be smart in that, you're gonna protect yourself more is the feeling that I'm getting there, Pisces. So everything is a learning experience and this will be a big learning experience for you as well. Even though I feel like it's someone that has to really go through something pick up pieces, figure themselves out, learn to trust, learn to know when someone was trying to be helpful and they just didn't want to hold their hand through the whole process, you know? It's like, cause they have their own stuff. They need to learn a lot. They need to learn a lot. But I do feel a lot of learning is coming. All right, let's do career and money. Like I'm not making that mistake. Let me, let me, let me learn from that one. Also, Pisces, the advice here is there may be someone that is uh, looking for another job opportunity or some type of financial opportunity. I feel spirit kind of heavily saying that you need to let people kind of find their own way back up. They need to learn on how to stand on their own two feet as well. All right, spirit, tell me more. Debt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Unexpected income, okay and credit repair. I think somehow you try to help a person to not fall into this debtful situation. The unexpected income is in the challenge. So that says it's like they're they're trying to figure out how. You know, there's that calculator there. They're going to be budgeting. They're going to be figure, working on their credit. They're going to be and not just credit like financial credit. I also feel that this is like somebody that is working on um, like who they have, like taking stock of what they really have in life. Like kind of like you did Pisces, you had to figure out, you know, um, how not to rely on other people. And I feel like this person is going to be trying to figure out ways to not have to rely on other people, you know? So this is what I'm getting here, Pisces. So this is going to be a challenge for them. Um, it's one that the universe wanted, like, not that the universe did this to them, they did this to themselves, but um, they got themselves in a hole and they need to get themselves out of this hole and they need to learn hand downs don't always help people they just make a person stay there so that's what I'm getting here Pisces if this is you I do feel like you're also in that same energy trying to kind of repair your credit um, work on try to figure out ways how to make more money Pisces but I get this more so for this other person where um, yeah, because I just felt the whole thing, you, you know, with them feeling the cracks and seeing the cracks into their, their whole lives and their systems and they find themselves in debt. So that's why I felt it more so for them. Let me see about you mostly because the majority of that's them. Over time, entry level. To me, it feels like you're further along in this self. Um, I'm doing things for myself energy. I do also feel where you're looking into ways to make more money. You might be thinking about starting something completely new. Like you may have had a career and then you're like, let me just start something completely new at an entry level. Um, I do have micromanage here, Pisces. It's telling me that you may have to manage a lot in your own life in order to walk through this door of this new opportunity. And again, this may mean that you may have to work more hours. You may be doing things for more hours. Make sure you get rest, Pisces. I hear this and I get tired. You know, I hear this and I get tired. 
because you do feel like you have a lot on your plate. You do have to micromanage a lot. Like I feel like there's a lot of people in your life that don't know how to do things on their own. So you got to figure that out because I don't see how you're going to do more stuff and then have to take care of a lot of other people. So figure that out, especially if you want to walk through the door of something new. All right, let's do Osho's. For some of you, this may be like really go through over your forms or some type of, because I did feel paperwork. You know, don't trust everybody with your papers all the time. Just make sure you get a second opinion, maybe a second set of eyes looking at something as well. More paperwork, yes. All right. Spirit, tell me more. Sorrow in reverse. I just felt like you're not gonna feel sorry for them. You're not gonna feel sorry for them. We got harmony and sharing. I feel like you tried to share some type of wealth, some type of knowledge. Maybe you did try to share uh, finances or some sorts, uh, something that you had uh, for them, Pisces. But so you don't feel guilty. It's like you did everything you could do. That's how I'm getting this. Like you did everything you could do. The harmony is in the challenge position. That's all you're really concerned about is how do you find peace in your life? Like you're not, you're not feeling sorry. You don't feel sorry for this person. You might have at some point, but it's like you did every, you said what you needed to say. You tried. It may have came off a little bit insensitive at times, but you know, I don't know what this person wanted. They wanted you to hold their hand and sing Kumbaya and dance with them and then sit them down on a couch again and then tell them the same things over. It's like, what were you supposed to do? Like, I tried to help. I tried to tell you something. You had to find out for yourself. You had to see it for yourself. All right, Pisces, I hope you like the reading. Please like and subscribe and thank you.